Hello, this is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, here to take you five days into the future for our February 14th Palmer City Council meeting. That'll be at 6 o'clock Tuesday night. So for action memoranda, we've got a couple community council grants that we're looking at, and then there's a non-objection for the Connoisseur Lounge uh, on Evergreen for their marijuana license. Uh, we've also got an action memorandum for uh, the golf course contract. We're doing a substitute on that. There was enough wording change that it gets kind of complex to start changing many words back and forth. And so we're doing a, a simple substitute swap. Uh, but the, essentially the, the two things that are, the two main things that are happening is an increase in payment for this year of $8,000. And then, um, the date, there's clarification of the end date, which I believe is being changed to uh, 2025 or clarified. And I, I know some people have expressed uh, concern about we're not making enough, enough money from the golf course. We should be making so much more money than we are currently. And I understand that. I mean, it makes a lot of sense to, to look at businesses and look as, that, as an example of how we should be doing business. But there's a... Uh, the main purpose of the city really involves services. So although I don't mind looking at what businesses are doing and how to be more efficient and, and work on those things, having the, the most expensive and profitable golf course in the state is not a goal of mine. To me, a goal that I have is to, we want to have a great golf course that's financially available to our citizens and visitors. Uh, so it's, it's just as much about providing that service in an economical way for those locals as, as it is to making money because uh, face it, I mean, if government is doing really well, it's still a nonprofit. I mean, it breaks even, it's in the black, but it's, it's not really meant to be uh, making lots of money hand over fist. But that's just kind of my view on it. And kind of in that uh, same context, uh, the city council has kind of expressed interest in reviewing our contracts. And so kind of the next set I think we'll be looking at will be the visitor information one and the Palmer Museum, uh, the museum contract, which Palmer Museum is doing both of those contracts. Uh, but to, to kind of get context for that, I've, I'm asking for a special meeting on February 21st, uh, where we can have some staff do some presentations to us, also go into executive session to, un to discuss with the attorney you know, what are some of the choices and what are the ramifications of those choices? And then maybe even have a committee of a whole to discuss, you know, what way we go forward. I also wanted to remind people that we have coming up on Thursday, the 16th, is the resource day at the Palmer Depot. And uh, this is where we're inviting uh, different groups that have been working with the homeless and with, with those in need to come and have tables available and let, let people talk to them. If there are homeless, you know, they can come in and, and work on getting help for their, the services they need. Um, but I, I want to encourage people to, to stop in and see what groups there are and what they're doing. Because to me, part of the whole solution for dealing with the homeless is for the community to get involved. And I don't know, you know, how each person should get involved. You know, maybe it's volunteering in one of the food banks. Maybe it's helping a local church with donations for those, you know, in more in need or, you know, maybe it's coming down to the city council and, uh, you know, telling us your opinion of how things should be happening in the city, um, you know, or find a, a nonprofit that's really worthy of your time and volunteer with them and even maybe be on their board. Uh, uh, those things, I think the community needs to get involved, but each person has to come up with what is the, the right way for them to be involved with that. And so I want to encourage people to do that. That's during the day on the 16th, Thursday, February 16th. So this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our February 14th Palmer City Council meeting at six o'clock. And yes, we're even meeting, but everyone have a happy Valentine's Day.